given the success of Donald Trump on podcasts in this election, I think we may have just seen basically the end of the teleprompter candidate and hopefully the puppet candidate. I think going forward, your candidate is going to need to have to speak in long form podcasts. See, back in four months ago, actually, to pump my own tires, I predicted Donald Trump about to take over podcasts. And you can see the thumbnail says 2024 podcasts are 2016 mainstream media. I mean, I wasn't the only person making that claim, but I think that turned out to be correct. Um, one piece of data for that, younger men voted decisively for Donald Trump. And younger men generally watch a lot of podcasts. But this is a big swing. Young men, you see, they, they went for Trump in this election cycle, according to Wall Street Journal, by 13 points, way more than usual. The Trump campaign has taken an unconventional approach, including appearances with unconventional media figures, popular with male voters. Trump even saying he consulted his son, Barron, for advice. A little bit. I mean, he tells me about all the hot guys, people I never heard about. And a key late campaign appearance on top podcaster Joe Rogan's show. I'm doing very, you know, really well in the polls. But I think that's... So this week I happen to believe in a verse. I only believe... (laughs) He says that. He's funny, man. Uh, here's here's Dana White last night on the election when they were celebrating mentioning some of these podcasts. I want to thank the Nelp boys, Aiden Ross, um, uh, uh, Theo Vaughn, Boston with the boys, and last but not least, the mighty and powerful Joe Rogan. So the Joe Rogan one was very big. Um, before I talk about that, because I actually got that one a little bit wrong. I didn't realize Joe Rogan was still so far ahead of everybody. In cultural rev, rev, uh, relevance, but listen to here. Elon Musk makes a really good point here. There, it's it's on him talking, but you'll hear it here. God, I mean, it's just the, the the options were fly to her and meet for forty five minutes, and I was like, that's not what you do. It's you know, Elon said it best yesterday. He goes, you really find out about people an hour, two, and three. Yeah, yeah, like uh, you can bullshit people for forty five minutes, right. but hour two or three, something's gonna come up. Well, the great thing about your so show I think is- this is true, just in terms of like the podcast and stuff. Like the longer format works a lot better, and as I said, I really think the the age of the certainly the teleprompter candidate, the puppet candidate, hopefully the puppet, because you could probably still, if you're like the puppet masters of a political party, try to find somebody who's pretty good on podcasts and who can tell stories. But then when they get into office, you can like control them. That would be a lot harder though. But I think certainly the age of just somebody who reads canned lines, it's not going to work moving forward. I don't think podcasts in the near future are going to get any less popular. So when we think about what's at stake in this election, whoa, it's packed with some stuff. (laughs) It's packed with some fundamental stuff. <laughs> so i mean at least she makes fun of herself there um and i get the point of this video is not to like be so negative to kamala but i just think her inability to go on those long form podcasts and really share like who you are just it seemed also calculated i actually kind of think ironically her best speech probably was her concession speech some people are making fun of it for being like kind of corny with the stars and stuff but it just sounded more like genuine in a way. But here's her when her teleprompter fails in the campaign. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> so 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. And we know. So, I'm, I mean, it's not exactly sure, but it, it's not exactly clear because I don't think it was confirmed, but it definitely looks like her teleprompter went out there. And I just, I really do believe that, like, the, the age of that being a viable option for a party, it's not going to work. You're going to have to figure out how to run somebody who can go on these long podcasts. And this is the part where I think I will say I was wrong. I didn't think Joe Rogan was as important as he turned out to be i thought trump going on like patrick bet david the nelk boys theo vaughn lex friedman i thought like a combination of all these different people actually the aiden ross stream if you're not familiar he's like a gen z sort of maybe he's like in his early 20s very popular i thought that 
was a great move because the clips from that will get pushed out to a whole bunch of people who probably never, ever watched CNN. Maybe they've never even watched it once or Fox News. But Joe Rogan is still is still the champion. Look at this. This is like the, the last basically two weeks before the campaign. Donald Trump, 46 million views on YouTube alone. This was also uploaded to Spotify and X. J.D. Vance, 15 million. These are huge numbers. And then look, Fetterman, to be fair, he's not an A-list Democrat, but this is a Democrat, 1.7 million. Not really that many. Elon Musk, 12 million. This was a pro-Trump podcast for in many ways. And then this Tim Dillon one kind of came out as the, uh, sort of as the polling was closing, closed, so it doesn't really matter as much. But um, I definitely think podcast played a huge role in this. I think going forward... Your candidate cannot be a teleprompter candidate. And as I said, hopefully that means it's way harder to run a puppet. It'd be so much better to have, like, say, Donald Trump versus a Democrat who actually speaks their mind and has their own ideas. They could have more of, like, a rigorous, constant debate about the ideas and not just feel like one candidate is just being kind of controlled and told what to do by your party. That's certainly how it feels when you don't do all these long podcasts. So for that, with that said... I'll finish the video here, but thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day.